Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this interview preparation session on the Power Platform. As you may know, the Power Platform is a suite of tools that empower users to build custom business solutions that streamline processes and automate tasks. In today's session, we will be discussing the top 20 Power Platform interview questions which will help you to prepare for your upcoming job interview. This session is divided into two parts and we will be covering the first 20 questions in part one. These questions have been selected based on the most commonly asked topics during interviews. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced professional, this session will provide you with valuable insights on the Power Platform and help you ease your next interview. So let's dive in and explore the top 20 Power Platform interview questions together. So the first question is, what are Power Apps? So the Power App is a platform as a service. It is a suite of cloud-based services developed by Microsoft that enables users to build custom business applications without having to write traditional code. These applications can be developed using a graphical user interface, allowing user to create apps by dragging and dropping components, which makes it an accessible platform for those without extensive programming knowledge. Power apps can be used to develop various types of applications such as mobile apps, web apps, and forms. Okay, so the next question is, which programming language does Power Apps use? So at present, Microsoft Power Apps serves as the backbone of Microsoft Power Apps. So the Microsoft Power App is the language which is used as a backend backbone for the Power App. It is a low level programming language which utilizes for expressing logical throughput the, to, for the Microsoft Power Platform. What are the main components of Power Apps? So, there are mainly six components we can consider as the main components for Power Apps. The gallery control, screen, card, control, property, and function. So, a gallery function can be called as a gallery in the app is a way to visualize the data. It is a set of displays used to view and navigate data. What is screen? A screen is a method of visualizing a specific data collection or record. Let's say it could be a mobile, iPad or desktop. There usually is one for seeing all records, one for viewing and single record and one for editing. The third point is a card. A card is a screen area that displays a specific record from your SharePoint list or any other database from which we built an app. Fourth one is control. A control allows you to see and interact with your record. The fifth one is property. Each control has its own set of properties. And the sixth one is function. The functions are used to interact with and change the characteristics of our control. What is what are the list of power app features or what list power app, list out the power app features? So the Microsoft Power App includes a lot of features to develop apps like a pro, apps like a pro and significantly with minimal efforts, common data service for storage to integrate data and systems more than 200 plus connectors are available. Drag and drop designer. This is critical one for the low code solutions. There are pre-built templates like if you want to do some type of app which is already available then there is a pre-built templates available the ai builder and role-based user experiments experience customized this is the critical one for the end user's perspective okay the next question is what advantages does power app offers so the power apps enable you to build applications rapidly without the need for programming knowledge using its user-friendly design interface. With only minimal programming requirements, it allows users to connect with various data sources and online services. 
Additionally, the Power App offers business process automation, or automation and AI capabilities. And it also supports cross-platform accessibility. Power App is integrated with Microsoft Flow and it is a cost-effective solution as well. How does a Canvas app different from a model-driven app? So here are the characteristics which differs between both of them, like what is Canvas app and what is model-driven app. So a model-driven app is an app model that allows users to create component-focused app, that is a component-focused app to implement an end-to-end -end business process, while a Canvas app is an app model that allows a user to task create task specific apps with design flexibility to deploy and develop model driven apps user must have the dynamic 365 product licensing to develop canvas app must have a user must have the power platform license necessary role and permission in data apps. the model driven apps can connect to and interact with only one data connection that is data was this is very much very much important in terms of the interview questions sometimes question has been asked by the interviewer like if we can connect model driven apps to multiple data sources so the answer is no we can only connect with one data connection that is data was in case of canvas apps we may connect and interact with over 350 plus connectors which allows users to have extra features. In model driven app, we can implement logic in various ways, including business rules, workflows, actions, and plugins. While we are in terms of Canvas app, logical implementation is app specifics and can be accomplished using Excel style formulas and conditional checks. The next thing is the version control is not supported. Once modifications are made, they must be rolled back by subsequent deployment. Whereas in Canvas app, version control is supported and modifications can be undone with a single click. Next question is what is common data service and what are the reasons for using it? So the common data service allows a user allows a data from diverse sources to be integrated into unified store that can also be used by or accessed by Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, Power BI and Power Apps. It also streamlines the app development process because we have the single common data service which everyone can use. The data in the common data service is organized as a set of entities such as compromising records that store information in the database table. The common data service incorporates a predefined set of entities that encompass typical scenarios. However, you can create fresh entities specific to your organization and populate them with data using Power Query. App developers can subsequently utilize this data to create sophisticated applications with Power App. Next, what kind of applications are possible? to build with Power Apps. Power App is a productive productivity development platform that enables the creation of various types of applications, including Canvas Apps, Common Data Services, Model Driven Apps, and Portal Apps. Can a Canvas App incorporate multiple data sources simultaneously? Yes. Certainly, Power Apps allows you to establish an unlimited number of connections, enabling you to utilize multiple data sources within a single application. So, the next question would be how can data be submitted from Power Apps using various methods? So, submission of data, that task can be executed by using two functions one is patch function and another one is submit form. However, the patch function can also be used to upload partial data. Like that is something like we want to upload a partial data, we can use the patch function to do the same part. The question number 11 would be like, can we access local network data sources in Power App? The answer is yes. We can easily connect to the local network data sources in Power Apps. 
Question number 12. How can error handling be implemented in Power Apps? D. If error is error, functions were added to the Canvas app to handle errors and show the relevant message. However, these functions can only be used if formula level error management is activated. To enable this feature, we have to follow the below steps. Open the Canvas app, go to the file options and choose advanced settings under the settings menu and enable the formula level error management. And once that is enabled, we can use this if error and is error functions to show a relevant message when there is an error occur. In what way can media files be incorporated, incorporated into the Canvas app? Although the Power App allows for uploading up to 200 MB of media per app, it is strongly advised to use media or block storage services like Azure Media or Azure Storage and then embed the media URL in the app. What is Power Apps Collection? In Power App, a collection is an array of list, array or list of elements that facilitates the storage of data in the app's memory. So this is the particular word the apps memory so it is not available to the server it is not up there but it's available into inside the apps memory this data can be utilized in various ways later on additionally the saved data in power apps collection can be stored in different data sources like sapoil excel documents or database to manage collections in power apps we can use the functions called as collect clear collect or clear Question number 15. What is the number of variable types that exists in Power Apps? In Power App, we have basically two types of variables. One is a local variable, another one is global variable, and we have one more thing that is called as collections. In Power App, a local variable is a variable that stores a single row of data and is used exclusively on a specific screen. So this is much more relevant to that that's why it's called as local variable because it, it is only available to that specific screen in contrast a global variable is a variable that stores a single row of data and can be accessed and used on any screen throughout all of your power apps the third thing is collection which is on the other hand are variables that contain multiple rows of data Question number 16. What are the ways to define or utilize a local or global variable in Power App? So, there are two types of variable we have seen, like one is a global variable and another one is local variable. So, to accomplish this scenario, like what are the ways to use these variables, uh, we can use a set function to assign a global variable and update context function to assign a local variable. A syntax to assign a create a global variable or assign a global variable is this like set. You can provide a variable name and then the value what you want, what whatever, whatever you want to uh, store in that variable. For example, I want to create a variable name as Prasad and want to store a value as 10 into that. This variable Prasad is a global variable and hence it can be used in multiple screens throughout my application. And if I want to create a local variable, I can use a syntax with update context. Context variable one, that is the name of the variable and this is the value. This is context variable two and this is its value. And to create a update context, a local variable, we can use update context. For example, I want to create this uh, local variable and this Radha with the value as 8. This is my local object with name Radha and score 8. The next question is, is it possible to create Power Apps without gaining access to a license? And the answer is no, the Power Apps cannot be created or used without a license. A user must have at least one license to access or create Power Apps. 
Second question is, next question is, what is the purpose, process? What is the process for building distinct user environment in Power Apps? An environment is a designated area for storing, organizing, organizing and distributing a company's data, applications and workflows. This environment can also be viewed as a container that separate applications based on varying requirements such as target audience, security standards, and user roles. The decision to create or select an appropriate environment ultimately relies on the company and the specific applications under consideration for development. Okay. How do Power App and Logic Apps different from each other? The Azure Logic App is a platform that enables you to integrate applications, construct workflows, and perform other tasks. On the other hand, the Power App are designed for building visual interfaces, visual user interfaces, as the term application can be used broadly to refer various types of software. It is not reasonable to assume that all applications share similar characteristics. So a Power App may differ in different world scenarios uh, with different type of user requirements what is a flow in power apps so a power app flow is something which can react to an occurrence in a particular service for example sharepoint online and subsequently manipulate the information in the different service for example Twitter. so let's say we created one power app a power automate flow or power app flow which can do some type of operation when something is happening inside a SharePoint online list or library. We want to manipulate that data and display that information on Power Apps or in on the other services like Twitter. That can be done. Okay, so this concludes part one of our top 40 Power Platform interview questions session. I hope that this session has been helpful to you in preparing for your upcoming interview. Remember, the key to acing an interview is to be confident, knowledgeable, and prepared. In part two of this session, we will be discussing the remaining 20 questions. So stay tuned for part two and make sure to practice your answers to these questions and review the concepts we have covered today. With a little bit of preparation and a lot of confidence, you will be well on your way to acing your power platform interview thank you for watching and i will see you in part two